The 2026 MiG-41 represents a bold leap forward in military aviation, embodying Russia's ambition to dominate the skies with a next-generation interceptor capable of operating at the edge of space and at hypersonic speeds. Although still shrouded in secrecy and speculation, this aircraft is widely believed to be the successor to the legendary MiG-31 Foxhound, designed to counter emerging threats such as hypersonic missiles, stealth aircraft, and even low-orbit satellites. Officially designated as the MiG-41, but also referred to by its developmental name PKDP, Prospective Air Complex for Long Range Interception, this jet is being developed by the Mikoyan Design Bureau under the umbrella of the United Aircraft Corporation. While Russia has not released comprehensive technical documentation, numerous defense analysts leaked reports and statements from Russian officials have painted a compelling picture of what may become the fastest manned fighter jet ever built. One of the most striking aspects of the MiG-41 is its projected top speed. Early estimates suggest it could reach Mach 4.3 or even higher, potentially approaching Mach 5, which would place it firmly in the hypersonic regime. For context, the MiG-31, which currently holds the title of the world's fastest operational combat aircraft, maxes out around Mach 2.83. The leap to Mach 4 Plus requires revolutionary propulsion and thermal management solutions. It is widely speculated that the MiG-41 will utilize a hybrid propulsion system, possibly combining a conventional turbofan engine with a ramjet or scramjet component to achieve sustained hypersonic flight. Such an engine would allow the aircraft to accelerate rapidly to extreme velocities while maintaining fuel efficiency during subsonic cruise phases. Advanced materials like titanium alloys and ceramic matrix composites are expected to be used extensively in the airframe to withstand the intense heat generated at these speeds, which can exceed 1,000 degrees Celsius on leading edges. The MiG-41's mission profile centers on long-range interception and rapid response. With a projected combat radius of over 2,500 kilometers and a ferry range potentially exceeding 6,000 kilometers with external tanks, the aircraft is designed to patrol vast swaths of Russian airspace, particularly over the Arctic and Pacific regions. Its high-altitude performance is equally impressive, with reports indicating a service ceiling of up to 30 kilometers, well into the stratosphere. This altitude capability not only provides a tactical advantage in detecting and engaging targets, but also enables the MiG-41 to function as a platform for anti-satellite operations. Russia has been developing directed energy weapons and kinetic kill vehicles that could be integrated into the MiG-41 allowing it to disable or destroy enemy satellites in low Earth orbit, a capability that would significantly enhance its strategic value. Avionics and sensor suites are expected to be state-of-the-art. The MiG-41 will likely feature an advanced active electronically scanned array, ASA radar, with extended detection range, capable of tracking stealth aircraft and hypersonic projectiles. Infrared search and track IRST systems Electronic warfare suites and secure data links will further enhance situational awareness and network-centric warfare capabilities. The cockpit is anticipated to be fully digital, with artificial intelligence assisting the pilot in decision-making, threat prioritization, and weapon deployment. While some early concepts suggested the MiG-41 might be optionally unmanned, current indications point toward a two-seat configuration similar to the MiG-31 with a pilot and a weapons systems officer managing the complex sensor and weapon loadouts. Armament is another area where the MiG-41 is expected to break new ground. The jet will likely carry a mix of long-range air-to-air missiles, including the R-37M, which already boasts a range of over 300 kilometers. More significantly, it may be equipped with the futuristic MiG-41-specific hypersonic missile, possibly derived from the 3M-22 Zircon anti-ship missile adapted for aerial launch. These weapons would travel at Mach 8 or higher, making them nearly impossible to intercept with current defense systems. Additionally, the MiG-41 could carry anti-satellite missiles or even experimental directed energy weapons, such as high-powered microwaves or lasers, for non-kinetic engagements. Stealth is not believed to be a primary design focus for the MiG-41, given its role as a high-speed interceptor, rather than a penetrating strike aircraft. However, some degree of radar cross-section reduction is expected through shaping radar-absorbent materials and internal weapon bays.
The emphasis remains on speed, altitude, and sensor reach rather than low observability. This design philosophy aligns with Russia's strategic doctrine, which prioritizes area denial and rapid response over stealth penetration. Development of the MiG-41 has faced delays due to budget constraints, technological hurdles, and geopolitical pressures. However, Russia has reaffirmed its commitment to the program, with initial flight tests rumored to begin around 2025 and limited operational deployment possibly by 2028 or 2029. The Russian Aerospace Forces are expected to procure between 50 to 100 units to replace aging MiG-31s, particularly those assigned to defend critical northern and eastern sectors. In the broader context of global military aviation, the MiG-41 poses a significant challenge to Western air superiority. While the United States and its allies are investing in sixth-generation fighters like the NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance Program, none are currently designed for sustained hypersonic flight or anti-satellite roles. The MiG-41's unique capabilities could shift the balance in high-end conflicts, especially in scenarios involving space-based assets or hypersonic warfare. Critics argue that the MiG-41's extreme performance comes at the cost of versatility and operational complexity. Maintaining such an aircraft will require specialized infrastructure, highly trained personnel, and significant logistical support. Moreover, its effectiveness will depend heavily on early warning systems, satellite networks, and ground-based radars to cue its long-range engagements, systems that could themselves be vulnerable in a conflict. Nevertheless, the MiG-41 stands as a testament to Russia's enduring ambition in aerospace innovation. Whether it lives up to its billing as the fastest fighter 